Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all my dear students of class 11 accountancy. Today we are going to see the sales book. Purchase book we have already discussed in last few lectures. Sales book, the rules are almost similar to purchase book. In purchase book we take only purchase, in sales book only we will take sales. In purchase book we, will, we have already taken goods. In sales books also goods will be taken, asset will not be taken. In purchase book, we have seen only credit transaction, only credit credit purchase will be there. In sales book, only credit sales will be there. And if the part of the transaction is cash and part is credit, then we'll take full transaction as a credit transaction. So students, just for knowledge, I am just writing one question here. From the following transactions, of A limited prepared sales book prepared sales book students so this is a question in front of you Okay students, again I am reading the question here. From the following transaction of A limited, prepare the sales book. Now question I am writing here and solution I will do this time. Suppose the question is like this. Uh, October 2020, transaction number 1. Sold. Goods of rupees. Students, the question is sold goods of 10,000 to Kiran at 10% credit discount with bill number 20. Next transaction, students, date number 5. Sold goods of rupees 20,000 to Rahul. At 10% rate discount and 5% cash discount with bill number 25. I repeat again, sold goods of 20,000 to Rahul at 10% rate discount and 5% cash discount with bill number 25. Next transaction. Sold machinery of rupees thirty thousand to Amir at ten percent trade discount. Sold machinery of thirty thousand to Amir at ten percent trade discount with bill number. 30 bill number 30 next transaction sold goods of rupees 15,000 to puja at 10% trade discount by cash. Students sold goods of 15,000 to Pooja at 10% rate discount by cash. Next transaction sold goods of rupees 8,000 to Samir. At ten percent trade discount 
and receive half the amount received half the amount by cash sold goods of 8000 to submit at 10% rate discount and receive half the amount by cash so student this is the whole question is there in front of you first transaction in the transaction this one my humble request to student first of all you copy this question okay students i hope you have already copied this question now the solution is like this sales book as we have done purchase book same is there date will be there particular will be there lf and then amount rupees students you will feel that like this is same as the purchase book Now, students, as per the transactions mentioned here, written here, we do the solution. Sold goods of rupees ten thousand to Kiran at ten percent rate discount with bill number twenty. Now, students, credit sales is there, so it will be recorded here. I will write down here two thousand twenty October, and first transaction is there. Now, sold goods of ten thousand to Kiran. So I will write down here the word Kiran account. Bill number is given there, so I write down here bill number as twenty, and then ten thousand, ten percent will be one thousand, so it will be nine thousand rupees will be here. So this is first transaction student in front of you. Now second, sold goods of rupees twenty thousand to Rahul at ten percent rate discount and five percent cash discount on bill number twenty five. Students, even though cash discount word is mentioned here, but we will not consider that, and this is a credit transaction. So I will write down here number five. The name of the person is here. Rahul account. Rahul account. Now bill number twenty five is given. So I will write down here twenty five. Now students twenty thousand ten percent two thousand will be there. So it will be eighty thousand rupees. Students first of all copy these two transactions in your notebook. Okay, now students, next transaction. Sold machinery. Now students, this word is important here. Machinery. Now students, machinery means that it's an asset. And I told you that only goods will be recorded. Asset will not be recorded. So number ten, because it's an asset, it will not be recorded. You can mention here number ten, not recorded. Number twenty, the last transaction. Students, the last one sold goods of rupees eight thousand to Samir at ten percent trade discount and received half the amount. Half amount means half transaction is cash and half is credit. So as per the rules, we take whole transaction as a credit transaction. So what we are going to do here, I will write down here twenty, and I will write down here what the name is given Samir account. 
समीर अकाउंट एट थाउजेंड टेन परसेंट इज एट हंड्रेड सो आई विल मेंशन हियर सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड सो स्टूडेंट दिस इज द एंड ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन एंड आई होप द कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर टू यू वी जस्ट हैव टू डू द टोटल नाउ एटीन एंड नाइन ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड सेवन थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड टोटल इज दिस Total rupees thirty four thousand two hundred. So students, the question is very simple, very easy in front of you, and this is a solution in front of you. Now in the next lecture, we'll see the cell book with the different different types of items. Uh, just we have seen in the purchase book like table, chair, and sofa, and we have seen I think maybe shirt and t-shirt something like that. So we are going to see the same question. Different items will be there. Cell book will be there. Then after we'll see the different expense related sales book will be there, and then we'll see one question only related to purchase book, sales book, purchase return, and sales return, and then we'll wind up this chapter. And after this chapter, my planning is to go to cash book. Now, what is cash book and everything that I will discuss with you after few lectures. My humble request to copy this right now, please. Thank you students students just one small request to you sorry to disturb you that if you have any question in any of the sum related to account or even other subjects please without any hesitation feel free to ask the questions by using the comment option as well as by using the helpline number students your questions are always accepted by us and it gives us the motivation to do something better so please till now you people have cooperated beautifully so please just keep watching online lectures also as well as uh, focus on the self study also as uh, from tomorrow we are going to give the question papers as well as the blank answer sheets for midterm exam and you have to do the solution of all the papers at home and on 26 you have to submit the papers so i hope i think all these things you are aware of that thank you very much and hope you will have a very good time very good uh, days ahead ahead and uh, may almighty bless you all thank you very much